hey loves and welcome back to my channel my name is ijama so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this victorian corset bustier with a basque waistline and trimmings so i used just one yard of velvet i used um one and a half yard or one yard of illusion net and i also used two yards of lace so i bought a doll face for the lace and i also added boning to the velvet area so in today's video i'm going to explain in details on how i made this so please do keep on watching please do not forget to subscribe and click the like button so that more people can get to see this video so we'll start with our pattern drafting i'll measure my boss points my under boss my half length if your half length is 16 you should make it 17 if it is 17 you should make it 18 then you also add like extra six inches or seven inches for your basque waistline and your allowance so i'll go ahead and rule the lines and label them the next thing that i'll do right now is to measure my dart so my dart is eight inches divided by four divided by two sorry that is four so i am marking four four inches from the chest line down to the basque line so i'll go ahead and connect that for four inches i'm sorry that i'm repeating this thing all the time this is the first time some people are seeing my video so i'll have to explain so that they can grab so after that i'll extend my chest line my chest line uh, from my chest line i'll go up by one inch so that the bust area will cover very well but if you want it to show a bit you can leave it at this chest line so i extended my chest line by one inch so after that i'll go ahead and make my bust curve at the under bust i'll take out 1.5 on the from the side piece and then one inch from the center piece i marked one inch at the center piece and one and a half on the side piece so a total of 2.5 so i'll go ahead and connect from my under boss to my boss point so the boss area is taking shape this is a victorian corset but i just want to do some manipulation i don't want to follow the standard i like doing what works for me so i'll show you guys what works for me so from that area where i marked my bust curve i will mark a straight line down to the basque line so at the chest line also that area where i extended my chest line by one inch i will take out one one inch on each side of the dart line so from the bust point i will make a curve to connect that one inch and then I'll also make it for the center piece. If you want, you can make you can mark just half inch at the center piece and one inch on the side piece. So after that, I'll go ahead and make my sweetheart neckline. The neckline of the yoke will be a sweetheart. So you can see how I marked it. And I'll also go ahead and label my yoke. So at this point, I'll have to cut out my yoke so that I can take the full body measurement i like cutting out my yoke before taking my full body measurement so i'll cut out the neckline um, this is my yoke i'll also cut out the shoulder slants i'll cut out the armhole and finally i'll cut out the yoke so after cutting out the yoke i'll also cut out the that area so our yoke is out for now i'll go ahead and cut out the that area so after cutting that after cutting it out i'll go ahead and take my body measurement so taking my body measurement i'll have to place these two pieces so that the breast curve will overlap and i'll just close that space at the that area then i'll go ahead and take my waist measurement plus two divided by four your waist measurement divided by four plus two inches seam allowance after marking that i'll also measure my bust my bust divided by four plus two inch for seam two inches for seam allowance i'll mark so after marking i will connect and the waist measurement will extend down to the basque line it will extend down to the basque line then 
after that i will come down from my half length from my normal half length i will come down by like two inches for now i'll come down by two inches and i will connect my basque waistline from there for now let's leave it there so i'll go ahead and cut out so after cutting this out i will use the front to cut out the back i will not add any dart at my back like i always say i don't normally use that on all my back pieces so the front is ready i will use the front to cut out the back i'll introduce a new pattern paper then i'll go ahead and place the front on the back and when i am cutting out the back i will not add any zipper allowance to it you know we normally add zipper allowances to almost all our clothes but I want to lace it at the back so there is no point adding a zipper allowance so i will indicate where the normal half length of the front is and also indicate the neck the wideness of the neck so for the back part the half length will start from it starts at the normal half length the front will be longer than the back because the front has a basque waistline the back does not have a basque waistline so you can see i have cut out and two of them are equal at the half length but the front is longer so after that i'll remove the front i've also cut my armhole so i'll measure where i want my yoke for the back to be so i want it to stop at seven inches from the shoulder then i'll go ahead and draw a straight line and that is where my yoke for the back will stop at i just want it to be a straight yoke then for the neckline for the back first of all i will take out two inches from the normal back measurement remember i did not add any zipper allowance and I still went ahead and subtracted two inches so that when I tie the back, when I lace the back, it will be open. I want it to be open at the back. Then from that two inches, I connected a V line to the neck width, like to the white, to the neck, where the wideness of the neck stopped. So I'll go ahead and cut out my yoke and I will label my back. And that is all for the back. I normally use my front to cut out my back. And that is all. So this is what I will use. Here is my velvet. I have added my tissue gum. I use the tissue gum. Here is my skin illusion net. And I will use this doll face as the lining. So if you are using a velvet, please remember to add a tissue stay to it. It will help you a lot. So I will go ahead and cut out the front piece first. The front piece, that is the center front will not have any joining at the center but if you want to, if you want it to have a joining at the center you can do that you just add half an inch for seam allowance but i don't want it to have a joining so i'll go ahead and cut out my front and i added half an inch seam allowance around the bust around the breast curve area so that is it for the center front so i'll go ahead and cut out the but the side of the front as well and i'll also go ahead and cut out the back so these are the ones that i will cut on my velvet for the yoke i will cut out my yoke on my skin illusion fabric so there is no point cutting out this on your velvet but if you're using velvet for everything you will go ahead and cut out that yoke on your velvet and the rest also so if you are cutting please add half an inch seam allowance around that breast curve area so for the back i will just cut it out without adding any allowance so i told you guys that i will lace the back and i will use an eyelet for the back the last video that i posted on my channel where i made a corset an off shoulder corset i used an eyelet so i'll show you. you you can check out that video so that you can see what an eyelet looks like so that is it i'll go ahead and cut out my back so for the skin illusion i'll cut first of all I'll cut out the front part and when cutting out your skin illusion net it should be on for like it should be double it will help you 
a lot so that your net will not tear to save your net from tearing so if you are cutting out you should add half an inch around the area where you will join the yoke to the velvet or to the main bodies so i have two here so that is for the front i'll also go ahead and cut out the skin illusion net for the back so i'll fold four times like i'll fold twice i'll fold and i'll fold again so for the back the neckline of the back will not have any journey so i will place my pattern on this folded area so that when i am sewing i will i will not um i will not have to turn the neckline so you can see the folded uh, the folded area will be at the neckline of my back i don't know if you understand so i'll go ahead and also cut out my sleeve you know this dress has a double sleeve it has a small sleeve that that falls that dropped and it also has a skin illusion long sleeve so i'll measure my sleeve length that will be 24 and i'll also measure my round sleeve and after measuring that I'll go ahead and cut. So that is it for the skin illusion part. So I'll also show you guys the one that we use for the small sleeve. So this is the one that I cut out for the small sleeve. I have my doll face and my lace. So the wideness is... um. The wideness is... Oh, sorry let me measure the widen the wideness is seven inches and the length is 19 inches but you can make the length to be like 17 or 16 inches because i still trimmed it at the end of the day so the wideness is seven but if you can make it it's fine so that when you fold it will be four inches i've also cut out my lining for the velvet area and i'll also go ahead and cut out my wording i am using a normal wording for this but if you want to use a bra cup fine but i want to use a normal wording for this i like using normal wording for my velvet so this is the side i also go ahead and cut so if you're cutting your wording it should stop the it should stop at least half inch before the neckline it should not reach your neckline so that when you are joining your skin illusion it will not interfere it will be very easy for you so here is what i have i have gummed i have glued the the wording to the velvet and this is what i have so right now this is my bag i've also cut out my lining for my bag so i'll go ahead and add my skin illusion yoke to it so you can see what I was saying. You don't have to turn the neckline because the neckline is on fold already. So this is how I will place it. And after placing my skin illusion, I will also go ahead and turn this with the lining. The, if you want to add your loops, fine. But for me, I want to use eyelets. So I will have to turn the both sides. So after doing that, I'll turn with my lining. So I'll go to my sewing machine and join. And I am done turning and this is what I have. That is for the back. So this is for the front. And I have two pieces of skin illusion net here. So what I'll do is that I'll go to my sewing machine and I'll turn the neckline. I have two there. So I'll also go ahead and shape my skin illusion so this skin illusion net if you are shaping the sleeve it should be half inch lesser than your normal round sleeve like if your round sleeve is 13 you have to make it 12 and half or 12 so that it will relax very well on your arm like it will relax very well so i have I've turned my neckline and this is what i have it is looking very neat so here is the member see i have joined the part area so i've also turned the lining so for the boning casing i cut out like one one inch strips or, or stripes i don't know what to call it let's say strips so i'll go ahead and place it on my velvet and so this is just the best way for adding bones on your velvet 
please do not sew directly on the velvet you have to place these strips on them and then run a double stitch on them so i am done and you can see how neat it looks it can you can see how neat it looks you can use a bias if you want but this is just the best method just place your strip on then on on the velvet and run a stitch on them so for the back i'll just run a double stitch at the back for my bony case you can see how the channels are looking so neat and flat i always add my strip from the inside so that the lines of the thread will be showing on the outside so i am done joining my skin illusion to the front part and right now i'll go ahead and place the front and the back together and then take my body measurements i like taking my body measurements on the front because it gives me the accurate measurement that i want so i have marked my bust measurements i have also marked my waist measurements so here is the back you can see the line the channel that i made for my bones i just ran a stitch on the velvet because it held the lining and the velvet together so in between them i will insert my bones so i'll pin the front and the back down and i'll go ahead and join on my sewing machine i'll also join the shoulder area the skin net area so this is what i have so right now i'll go ahead and trim my armhole please your armhole should not be deep if you are working with skin illusion if your normal armhole depth is eight please make it seven it should not be deep because you are working with a skin net you know skin nets can be stretchy so making it one inch shorter than the normal armhole depth is better it will relax very well around your arm so i'll go ahead and trim my basque from the basque i will connect to the normal waistline So I'll go ahead and trim very, very well. So after trimming, you can now insert your bones. I love inserting my bones after I must have trimmed everything so that I will know the accurate length of the bones. So for the back half length, it will be straight. The back half length will be straight. So I'll trim off the excess allowance. And after that, this is what I have. Make sure you trim off the excess allowance. Then you go ahead and insert your bone. I like using a red line bone if I'm working with velvet. Because velvet can be troublesome. So using a red line bone is just the best. So this is for the small sleeve. I have turned it. First of all, you insert this small sleeve before the big one. Before the normal sleeve. Like you have to fix this small sleeve first before you attach the skin illusion sleeve i don't know if you understand <laughs> so that is it i have i am done adding my sleeve and right now i'll go ahead and show I'll, I'll go ahead and trim the basque waistline on the skirt parts so this is my skirt part i'll go ahead and place the busty on it and then i will use my chalk to mark out the basque line so after marking that i'll come up by half an inch from the actual line that i marked and then i will trim my half length and that is it so before you join please remember to insert your bones So you can see the channels they are very flat and neat. if you want to use a contrast thread fine like if you want to use another color of thread for your boning casing fine it will add um it will add let's say a, a little detail to it so i am inserting my bones i'll go ahead and trim like you will trim me so that it will stop at let's say half an inch or one inch before your normal half length so that when you are joining the upper part to the lower part it will not interfere your bone should stop at let's say one inch before the 
half length it should also stop let's say half inch before the neckline so i have i have joined the upper part the lower part and this is what i have for now you can see how fine it looks you can see um the basque waistline everything is fine so you have to cross check at this point you have to check at this point so that you can do some adjustments you can see how fine this looks i don't know if you can see the channels for the bones everything is just laying flat and smooth so this is the trimming that i'll be using i will have to place this trimming around the waistline and around the neckline so it depends on the color you want to use so if you are placing this trimming it should be bit it should be a bit less it should be above the half length i don't know <laughs> it will have to cover the basque area i don't know if you understand but what i mean is that the trimming should be above the basque waistline if you check the picture on the thumbnail you can see that the trimming came up a bit so after that i attached my trimmings and everything and this is the final look that i have i hope it is beautiful so thank you guys for watching and for stopping by today and please if you have not subscribed please make sure you subscribe and give this video a like so that more people can get to see the video if you have any question feel free to drop it in the comment section i love you guys so much so i also dropped the link to our telegram group so that if you have any style requests or any recommendation you can drop it there our telegram group and our whatsapp group is very interesting please make sure to join one of them thank you bye